summertime. Wildflowers, waterfalls, lakes. Lots of lakes. These remnants of the winter snowpack live high in the mountains. Here we find reflections which go on for days and water so blue that it feels as if the landscape captured a piece of the sky and locked it deep inside the mountain. This is Colorado, and these are the legendary ice lakes. Welcome to summertime in the San Juan Mountains. Now, this is easily one of the most epic destinations for landscape photography. We got waterfalls, we got wildflowers, and at the top of it all, the legendary Ice Lake. You gotta see it to believe it. Somewhere at the top of this mountain, there is an absolutely epic picture waiting to happen. Let's go see if we can find it. So, the work week is finally coming to an end. You put the finishing touches on those TPS reports, resist the temptation to throw the office printer off the top of the parking garage, go home, drop the cat off at mom and dad's, and get ready to unleash your inner weekend warrior. It's time to pack an inhumane amount of camping gear into a giant spine-crushing backpack and head for the mountains. When it comes to landscape photography, the central Rocky Mountains tend to soak up all the credit in Colorado. So at the risk of sounding like a complete anarchist, I will humbly submit that the central Rockies are not in fact the most beautiful mountains in the state. That title rests instead with the lesser known western Rockies. And if we're going to put a finger on the map, we'll just call them the San Juan Mountains. Situated on the western frontier of Colorado, these jagged peaks are filled with all kinds of hidden treasures, including our next destination, the legendary Ice Lakes. This little alpine oasis is literally where the color blue was invented. When Mother Nature starts to tinker around with glacier water situated amidst a ring of rusty red mountains, you know the camera is in for something special. Add a side order of wildflowers, a pinch of blue skies, and let the morning light serve up a panoramic buffet of photographic filet mignon. The great outdoors are filled with all kinds of things that are very, very big. Mountains are big, valleys are big, the sky is big. Put them all together and it's easy to see why many landscape photographers tend to only see the world through the wide angle lens. However, in an ecosystem as diverse as this, I find it's important to always keep an eye out for the little things. With wildflower season in full swing, every bee in Colorado is pretty much in full-blown overdrive. And if you manage to take just a moment to slow down, there's a good chance that great things are happening right in front of your feet.
Even if you never pull out your camera, the Ice Lakes are the type of bucket list destination that offer up a very fulfilling sense of adventure. Well, I mean, let's be honest, you didn't just hoist a small house onto your back and flatten your vertebrae under a five mile hike above tree line to not pull out your camera. But that's what makes this kind of expedition so fulfilling. This is not your average roadside photography trip. If you're standing in front of this scene, you have definitely earned it. And in my humble opinion, the images you work the hardest for tend to taste just a little bit sweeter to the eyes. Now, I'm not exactly one to sleep like a baby in a damp, chilly tent. So, needless to say, emerging from the sleeping bag at O-Dark 30 works out nicely for sunrise. This is the landscape photographer's primary hunting ground, the pre-dawn nocturnal pilgrimage to the sweet spot you so diligently scouted the day before. This is where weekend warriors roar with delight as the sun makes its magical journey over the horizon. Gone are the traffic jams, annoying co-workers, useless meetings, and all the millions of tiny little soul-crushing things that make everyday life pass by in a melancholy blur. This is what landscape photographers live for, the cure for mediocrity. This is the experience that makes everything else in the world disappear. And in its place, one unforgettable moment of true happiness. Our Little Blue Planet is home to all kinds of amazing destinations, and I've had the privilege to produce photographic artwork for homes and businesses all across the nation. If you are interested in acquiring your own little piece of Mother Nature, every image which appears in this episode can be purchased from my website. So be sure to check out the link in the show notes below, and I look forward to providing your next fine art photograph. Sunrise at Ice Lake. What can I say? If you had a way to bottle unicorn farts and starlight, that's pretty much what it would look like. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us and always remember, the camera will take you places you never imagined.